third compiler. Hey, Just Be Free says you could give Jim Trestle $30 million to coach Michigan. You couldn't give Jim Trestle $30 million to coach at Michigan. I mean, Jim Trestle is a little bit past his prime at this point. I'd much be more, uh, much be, um, more interested with Urban Meyer than, uh, than Jim Trestle at this point. Urban Meyer is a free agent. I saw a thread someone sent to me from some message board yesterday, and someone was like, would you uh, would you want Urban Meyer as your coach if Harbaugh wasn't the man? And it was like 90% of the people were saying no. Are you out of your mind? I would take Urban Meyer in two seconds as Michigan's coach. So I'm not sure why people think they're going to be so elitist. You want to win football games or you want to uh, win participation trophies, which is you know maybe what Michigan's going to win uh, at best this year. How about this? Wilson is Mo Fire Don Brown now. Um FDBN. I'm going to use that hashtag. Fire Don Brown now. Um, I, I'm not going to argue with you. I mean, six straight games of below average defense for Michigan going back to last year. So I agree with that one for uh, this is Wilson. I'm not really sure what to make of this Michigan defense at this point. Uh, Case do 517. Harbaugh needs to go. It's easy but the consensus of people. I think Jim Harbaugh is on some level of a hot seat right now as Michigan's football coach. Uh, we're live here on YouTube, live on Facebook. We're going to put these up on the YouTube channel afterwards so you can watch them on demand later. So if you watch this later and you say, you're not live, Yoder, remember, we, we're taping. We're an, almost an hour live here after the game, taking your questions, going over Michigan football grades. So if you watch this afterwards, our Michigan football Q&A, make sure you know that we don't normally do this, but some of our other shows do. We record it, and then we break them up into smaller consumable shows for you later on. Use that hashtag, Michigan, to get – on the show action network is how i have kept myself at the top of the sport here's michigan football kind of the middle of the sport here's james yoder the top of his sport it's like steroids for sports betting if you want to know where the big money sports bettors are putting their money at where the the uh joe sports better who doesn't know what he's doing where he's putting his money and where the differences are where the trends are like jim, jim harbaugh can't win games on the road against top 15 teams you'll learn those stats and way more using the Action Network app. I've been using it for two seasons now. I swear by it. That is not a a, uh, a read or anything like that. They came to us and said, hey, you guys want to offer this to your people? 40% off. It's $10 a month. Super cheap when you're betting 25, 50, 100 hours a game. Super cheap. Now it's $5.99 if you use chatsports.com slash deal. It is the way to do it. If you are betting on sports, have the stats that help you pick games better. Live bet tracking, expert picks analysis, and the live odds and trends and all that stuff. The Action Network is the only place I go to get news and get information before I place my bets. Chatsports.com slash deal to get 40% off. Keep going with questions here on YouTube Live, here live on Facebook. Who do they get as a replacement coach? It's a very good question. And we'll stay on this one for a second, Dylan, because I think it needs to be considered at this point. I don't necessarily think Jim Harbaugh is going to get fired because I don't think Michigan as a university or an athletic program or fan base has the confidence right now after Rich Rod, after Brady Hoke, to fire another coach who was seen as the guy who cannot fail at the school. So I think they're going to give Jim Harbaugh as long as he wants, even if they go 7-5 and five this year, even if they lose to Ohio State for an eighth straight year. Even if Jim Harbaugh goes 0-5 versus Ohio State and 0-2 versus Notre Dame and 2-3 and versus Michigan State if he loses those three games, they're not going to fire him. He may walk away, though. He may just say, I've got a knee problem. I've got a hip problem. Uh, i got a young two-year-old son at home, whatever it is. He's got a very young son. His wife's you know, considerably younger than he is. Could he walk away at some point in the next few years? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not saying that he's going to do it by any means. But who would you look to? I think Iowa State's coach is, is an interesting one. I'd love to go make a big offer for Lincoln Riley, but I doubt he would take the job. Uh, I think Kellen Moore, the the offensive coordinator for the Cowboys through two games, has looked like somebody exciting. Uh, I would consider someone like Mike Leach, as as crazy and as wacky as he is. um, He's kind of done everywhere he goes. He might be a, a candidate for an NFL head coaching job come next year, the way that offense is going, but... Michigan has had poor offense for a decade, and it's not going to change under Jim Harbaugh. So that is, uh, you know, my quick few candidates right there. Uh, Dylan, we got another question coming here: YouTube Live, Facebook Live from Derek Jones. The way Michigan's been playing this year, I can see them losing five games, including the Ohio State University TOSU. Yeah, I agree. I mean, they're not going to beat Ohio State. 
There's no way they're going to beat Ohio State. It's not even going to be close. It's going to be 55 to 10. Brian Day is going to walk in there just like Urban Meyer did last year and said, we'll show you Michigan fans how, how we do it. We'll show you Jim Harbaugh how we do it. Uh, Ohio State is less talk, more football. Michigan is more talk, less football. That's all there is to it at this point under your five and Jim Harbaugh. But you guys answer the question here. Let's light up the comment section. Get it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many games is Michigan going to lose this year? Oh, gosh, five? I think four or five at this point. I thought one, honestly, at the beginning of the year. I did not expect the season we're having right now. I did not expect this to be the Michigan football season. As my computer, Dylan, has gone dead at one hour of battery life when we got on here. It has died now. So, so that is that. How many losses? What's that? Four more minutes? Okay, we're going to keep live. Dylan says he's got four more minutes of battery life on his computer, so we're going to keep that rolling on the big production center behind it. News, rumors, highlights, and grades. Subscribe to the channel, chatsport, I'm sorry, youtube.com slash Michigan TV. We are the number one Michigan football show on planet Earth. Sam Webster's audience, Yoder's audience. So make sure you subscribe. You know, every time we've got a new video and – you know, with things going like they are going now, I'll probably go live and take your questions more often uh, throughout this season. Gregory Jones got a question. It says they better get this program turned around and back in the saddle before we do, before we face the te- you know the, the tough teams coming up this year. I mean, luckily, you've got what Illinois and Rutgers. My computer dies. Uh, uh, Should have plugged in, but I thought I had a good computer. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna pull up the schedule really quick. Um, I thought I had it memorized, but I don't because my mind is just like, where's this program going? Okay, so it's Rutgers next week. Okay, so it's Rutgers next week. But then you got you got Iowa right after that, homecoming, the first weekend of October. So you've got another potential loss in Iowa. I don't know if Michigan's beaten Iowa. Then you've got Illinois. So let's say you win two of those three games. You're sitting there four and two the, the year. Penn State on the road. Then Notre Dame at home. Maryland, Michigan State, Indiana, Ohio State. Show me that there's not five losses there. Four more. I, I don't know. There definitely looks like there's four to five more losses this season. So I'm not sure where Michigan's going to finish off. But it does not look good with Jim Harbaugh. Derek Jones. Greg, Greg's brother, apparently. My one-word reaction is LOL. I guess that's one word, right? The way words are done, that's one word. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything to uh, to to say. That's uh, mine is just like my actual one word reaction is like pick up my computer here and break it. That's what my one word reaction is because that's how I felt. I felt you ever see that video uh, from the NBA Finals, Dylan, where the the kid uh, stands up and like kicks the TV, then throws it on the ground, and pulls the cords out, and then picks it up and throws it. That was almost me today. My wife's out of town for work. She's in Las Vegas uh, doing these uh, big-time corporate things like taking uh, rich clients to the iHeart Radio Festival. So I'm stuck with my you know, almost three-year-old son, waiting for the nanny to get here, watching the first half of the game, while I'm working with Dylan on the high. We're going to do a highlight show. No need to do a highlight show. I mean, it was, what's the point of doing a highlight show? But one word of reaction from Derek Jones is LOL. Make sure you subscribe. You see it on the right side of the channel, guys. YouTube.com slash Michigan TV. I am James Yoder from Chat Sports. This is the Michigan Football Report. Let's take a question from Michael Harris. Yoder, why don't you take the job at Michigan if Jim Harbaugh gets fired? I mean, I like the way you think, Michael. You're a very smart man. I uh, My son's middle name is Michael, clearly because uh, great folks have the name Michael. So I, I would be open to it, honestly. I think it could be said that I'm more popular than Jim Harbaugh at this point. Would you agree? You guys would agree. Studio audience here at Chat Sports. Um, and certainly I think I could – I've played enough video games where I think I could call plays better than they are for this team. So Brock Wood. It's a pretty interesting name. I wonder if that's his real name. Brock Wood. <laughs> um, should we get a whole new coaching staff? I mean – Michigan beat writers, the guys who would – I'm going to tell you guys a little, little – I'm going to let you in on, on how things work. Michigan and Detroit has the worst media in America because these guys are such big fans and they are such – they're so like – they have very little personal lives. If you see their pictures, you can imagine what their personal lives are like, their social lives – that they live for Michigan football. I love Michigan football. I got a lot of other stuff going on, right? 
They are such big fans, they are in the job to get free tickets and to meet their heroes in the Michigan football program. And so they won't criticize uh, anybody. And all they'll do is put out puff pieces. The Michigan media, uh, these bums like Isaiah Hole and Ace Transbender from MGO Blog and uh, Angelique, I guess, is okay. She doesn't really do anything. Michael Spath, all they are is mouthpieces for the, for the, for the university. They would never say anything to, uh, I got you, deal. They never say anything to discredit this team. And nevertheless, um, they will never give you the actual news. I think the change made on the coaching staff this year, Josh Gaddis and the linebacker coach and the defensive line coach and the quarterback coach, four new coaches, they all stink because no, no positions got better. But that's just my take on it. New coaching staff, could I be the new coach? People are talking. Are we wrapping it up till now? Is that the show? Okay, cool. So we're going to keep this thing looping, right? We're going to keep it looping. We've got our Michigan football grades and your questions. Keeping it looping here on the Michigan Football Report YouTube channel. I am your host, James Yoder. And until next time, go blue. Hey there, Michigan football fans. Thanks so much for watching the Michigan Football Report. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We've got Michigan football news rumors, recruiting information, and inside access to the Michigan football program. You ready for another Michigan football video? I got you hooked up right here. Go Blue.